Oh, I understand. 94.7 QDR. Hey, it's Heather Davis. It's another edition of Thursday. And I got Samantha from the Wake SPCA and Bryles. He looks so sweet and so soft. Oh, that you basically just summed him up. That is how our staff would describe him. I'm petting him. He is super soft. I wish we had like feel a vision. I know. Uh, right? Yeah, he's <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is just a sweet, mellow, low-key guy. He's just super nice, calm, and really cuddly. And he's got a special he trait does. that you were just telling me about. What what's going on with him? He does. We'll show you his little special, his little special booty. He's, he's got, got no tail. tail. No <laughs> He's just so cute. So he just walks around and he looks like a little capybara. <laughs> That's yeah. so cute. Do we know what happened to that? Is it just that he, he didn't? We didn't think he's a Manx or a Manx mix. So just naturally born tailless. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be any kind of trauma or bother him at all. So uh, yeah, he gets around just fine. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Bryles is about eight years old. Okay. Um, so he's kind of a middle-aged man. And uh, he was found as a stray and surrendered to the county shelter. And we rescued him from the county shelter. And uh, he was in foster for a little while. And they said he did great with the other cats. He's been fine with the other cats here. He seems to really get along with them well. Uh, and he's not very big fan of dogs. He's quite afraid of them. So he would need a dog free home. Okay. But he's done well with kids. So he's just kind of a really low key mellow guy. That's if you ask anyone around here about Bryles, they'll say, oh, I love him. He's just such a calm, sweet cuddle bug. Look at him and he's like, he's like, oh, on your leg. He's like, oh, just pet me, just pet me. <laughs> this is his life's purpose and he's fulfilling his life's purpose. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love <laughs> it, love it. Well, excellent, we will put Bryles information below. What do you guys have going on at the SPCA right now? Uh, we're still doing all of our adoptions by appointment only. So we're hoping maybe sometime this year, things will start to look a little different, but yeah. yep, we're still doing appointment only. You can find information about that on our website at spcawake.org slash appointments. And uh, at the moment we are in great need of um, foster supplies and also some small bags of dry food for cats and dogs. So the five and 10 pound bags are really handy for us to use for our animals program where we provide pet food for um, homebound seniors who can't get out to buy it for themselves. And then, uh, and some foster supplies, we could use um, the dried powder kitten formula and, uh, and miracle nipples because kitten season is coming up rapidly and we are anticipating needing a lot of baby kitten supplies. <laughs> gotcha. And the best way to get that to you guys, you know, can people order all that stuff on Amazon and just kind of ship it to you? Is that probably the easiest way to get it to you? Yeah, absolutely. They can ship it directly to us at uh, the adoption center at 200 Pet Finder Lane in Raleigh, or they can bring it to the loading dock behind our adoption center. We're accepting contactless deliveries. That is also wonderful. That is awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you, mister. He says he'll bid you goodbye with his tail as booty. With his tail as booty. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Samantha. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. You too. Thank you.